Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I am super excited to be sharing with you the Sentimental Rose April Paper Pumpkin Kit. I've got a beautiful quick and easy card to show you as well as a 3D treat holder that I think you're going to love. This month's Paper Pumpkin Kit is so absolutely gorgeous. I am in love with the giant flower stamp that comes in it. And of course, it has some really pretty greetings to go along with it. Some of them are upside down. That's always tricky, right? Let's get this camera turned around and I'll show you what I came up with. This month's kit has some of the prettiest elements in it I think I've ever seen in a paper pumpkin kit. We have these beautiful lined envelopes and then these super fun cards that have printing on the front of them. I'm going to be using this one that has all the little um, type print on it. And I also wanted to show you guys these layers. Aren't they pretty? I didn't even get to these yet, but you can bet that I will. If you're a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin through me, you're going to get a PDF file of 15 plus different ideas, alternate ideas using this Paper Pumpkin kit. So I'll be sure there'll be some of these in there. There's also some gorgeous rose, um, I think these are poppies, so roses and poppy layers. And then we have some corrugated, thicker cardstock. And then this beautiful element that goes on the box that you can put all your cards in and give them as a gift for Mother's Day if you'd like. So I'm going to get started and show you what I came up with this month. I am going to be bringing in a few things that weren't in the kit. First of all is Berry Burst ink, and I've got some Berry Burst cardstock and some basic gray cardstock. Now, the card that comes in the kit, once you fold it and burnish that edge, this is a five by three. So I decided to take some Berry Burst ink and this beautiful flower and stamp that right in the corner here. And then I'm just gonna stamp it one more time right here, just a tiny little smidge of it. Then we're gonna turn it around and stamp it again right up here. And already, isn't that just gorgeous? I love this. Now, as long as we're stamping flowers, let's put a, a little bit of this image on the inside of our card because of course that just looks beautiful, right? Okay, we've got our card ready. Now what I decided to do was to add this to a piece of basic gray. So my basic gray card stock is three and three quarters by five and a quarter. So it's just a layer behind. And then this layer of Berry Burst, and remember, Berry Burst is retiring. This is going away with our new annual catalog that comes out in June. I added Berry Burst a quarter inch larger, so that is four by five and a half. And that's what I've got. So I've got the layers behind my card. Then I've got a little um, sneak peek for you. We've got a brand new punch coming your way. It's called the Timeless Label Punch. And I'm going to take a layer of the basic gray cardstock, and then I brought out my one and a half inch circle punch. I think this one may be retiring, and if so, we have all of the layering circle dies, so we'll still be able to, you know, make circles. I'm not too worried about that. I'm going to take this circle of berry burst and put it right in the middle of my timeless label punch. It's going to take me a while to remember that. I have, you guys know I have a really bad memory. It's kind of embarrassing sometimes. If you, if you see me pick that punch up again and look at the label, we can all giggle together, right? <laughs> because you know I will. Okay, here comes a happy Mother's Day. And I took one of the die cut labels that comes with the kit. Let me find them here. Here they are. So we've got all these pretty labels that come with the kit. I just turned mine over. I'm gonna use the back of it. 
with basic gray ink and the Happy Mother's Day. That looks pretty darn good. And then I brought in some Mossy Meadow ink because there's some really pretty leaves in the stamp set also. So I'm gonna stamp those off once because I do want just a little bit lighter version of this Mossy Meadow. And I'm gonna add that to my label just like that. We're going to put this on the front. So we're stacking all these together. And that circle punch is perfect. It's a perfect label behind this die cut, I think. We also get some Stampin' Dimensionals in our kit. So we're gonna put a couple of those on here. and add this to the front of our card. What do you guys think? I've got one more thing I'd like to do. Since this is for my mom, and diamonds are a girl's best friend, I'm gonna bring in some rhinestones and add them to the front of my card. And we're gonna spare no expense with this one. My mom is very, very special to me, and I love her dearly, and she deserves a lot of diamonds. There we go. Okay, here's our card, and isn't that oh so pretty? I'm going to be able to write in here how much I love her and what she means to me. Yeah. Okay, next. We need a 3D item. So, what I've got here is I've got two pieces of Berry Burst. My bigger piece if you caught my Wednesday video, this was part of it, this little treat holder. We're gonna just dress it up a little bit differently. This is two and three quarters by seven and three eighths, and this is two and three eighths by five and three quarters. So I'm gonna bring in my scoreboard. And I had somebody ask me the other day um, if rubbing this cardstock with the wax paper affected the stamping at all. And I don't think it did, but I didn't try it out. So today we're going to put that to the test. I don't think it's going to make any difference. So on our bigger, longer layer, we are going to, let me move this out of the way. We are going to score this at three inches, three and a half inches, and six and three quarters inches. Okay. The smaller layer... I can get it picked up here, is going to get scored at two and a quarter, two and a half, two and three quarters, and then we're going to do the same thing at five, five and a quarter, and five and three quarters, okay? So I want to do a little stamping on this before I fold on my score lines. I'm just gonna bring in this beautiful rose and I'm going to stamp away. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look gorgeous? I'm using Berry Burst ink on Berry Burst cardstock, so we've got a tone on tone going here. And I can tell you right now, my mother loves flowers. As a matter of fact, for her birthday, which was just April 15th, I gave her a dahlia, some dahlia bulbs. And then Haley bought her, my daughter bought her a whole bunch of dahlia bulbs, so that was kind of cute. Okay, so I've got all my flowers stamped. Let me get this closed up. Oh, uh, yep, nope, we're good there. I'm gonna take another one of these labels and let's see, where did our stamp set go? We've got the For You here. I think we'll use this on the label. Let me grab one of my blocks. And again, I'm going to turn the label over because I want to use the back of it. I don't want the, um, I think that's a flirty flamingo border around there. I'm do going with basic gray again. 
That looks great. And then, whoops, I just stuck my fingers in the ink. I am going to, again, put the leaf on here and stamp it off once so it's not so overpowering because Mossy Meadow is a pretty dark color. How about if we just do maybe one more there? And isn't that just pretty, right? We're gonna need another one and a half inch circle. And we're gonna use this Timeless Label Punch. And yes, I did have to look at the end of it to see what it's called. So now we can all laugh at me because I can't remember anything. Oh, so frustrating. But I will get it. By the time that new catalog goes live, I will have that name down. I promise you. Okay. And I think I'm going to pop this up on Dimensionals this time. Be just something a little different. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's get this together. I'm gonna bring in some tear and tape. And we're going to fold and burnish all of our score lines. I'm gonna be taking a trip with my mom and her best friend from college who I'm actually named after in May. And we're going to Door County. So if any of you are familiar with Door County in the Upper Peninsula, Wisconsin, I think that's what it's called, um, let me know where I have to go. So leave me a message. Leave me a comment let me know where I have to go in Door County. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make up a pack of cards using the stamp set. And I'm going to give one pack to my mom and one pack to her college friend and um, as a little gift because I don't know I just think it's a sweet thing to do and I know they'll both love them so a little bit of tear and tape here on this tab and this is just a little bit bigger than your tab don't worry about that it's not a big deal I cut this short a little bit so let's get another piece right there there we go and then I'm going to bring in my Take Your Pick tool and pick off that backing. Ooh, make sure you push that down good so your sticky part sticks. Now I see that this is going over, and I'm just going to fold that edge over. See what I did there? I just took my tear and tape and kind of fold the sticky part over. And now, whoops, we're going to glue those together. Cool, right? Okay, then we're going to take this, and I've got my little tab down here, and I'm going to bring my rose in, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use tear and tape on the front and the back, but you have to make sure that your tear and tape isn't too tall, like you have to get it way down. I'm going to put it kind of on the score line here. So it's overlapping the score line a little bit. I want my tab to be able to tuck in on my matchbook here. So I'm gonna put tear and tape right there. Then we're gonna fold this up a little bit. You're gonna pinch this closed and stick it right down in here. Okay, and then I wanna put just a, you don't have to do this, but I like to secure it. I'm gonna put just a little bit of tear and tape back here. So well, let's put it on the back here so that this stays in place. I don't know, I'm kinda of weird about stuff like that. I don't want things falling apart. Maybe that's not weird, maybe it's just good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Um, what are we gonna put in here? One of my wonderful intense dark sea salt soiree chocolates, Ghirardelli chocolates that I got from my friend Mary Olson for Easter. She gave me a whole bag of them. I know, how lucky am I, right? And there we go. Whoops. Here is our cute little treat holder. And where did my, here's my label. I'm just going to take this and add some glue to it and put this right on the front of it. And now we have a card and a matching treat holder that I can 
give to my mom and her friend. Okay, so do you want to hear her friend's name? Her friend's name is Ruane. And my mom named me Kelly Ruane Flynn. So yeah, <laughs> how funny is that? My daughter makes fun of my middle name, but I don't care. So there we go. For my mom and Ruane, I'm going to make these. And I think they're just going to love them. Now, remember... Get your paper pumpkin kit before May 10th. Shelly Gardner, who is the co-founder of Stampin' Up! has helped design the May kit and it's going to be a distinctive stamp set. And what that means is it's going to look like real life. This is distinctive and I'm pretty sure Shelly's is, well maybe it's, maybe it's not, I think it is distinctive. But anyways, I've seen some little snippets of it. It is absolutely beautiful. You're going to want to be a Paper Pumpkin subscriber. When you subscribe through me, you're going to get 15 alternate ideas to use with your kit every month that you're a subscriber. So that's a pretty darn good deal. And in order to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you're going to click right up here. That's going to take you to my blog. This is my blog address. And when you go to my blog, you're going to find you can um, get prepaid subscriptions one month, three months, six months, 12 months. Okay, you can buy a prepaid subscription or I'll have a link on there where you can go right to my Paper Pumpkin store and sign up on a monthly basis, just like a magazine subscription. And paper pumpkins are around $20 a month. All the details will be on there. But I absolutely love getting these in the mail and putting them together, figuring out alternate ideas for them, and then sharing those with you, my subscribers. So you have to be a subscriber to get that file with 15 different ideas in it. Make sure you click down here to subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I have coming up. Tomorrow I have a blog hop with the Totally Technique International Design Team. So you won't want to miss that. That's always one of my favorites. Make sure you use this host code if you're placing an order with me that's under $150. I always appreciate that. And once again, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.